A teenager is shot and killed in a Birmingham street following a gun deal gone bad. Now, the man who admittedly pulled the trigger will not be charged because the Jefferson County District Attorney's ruled Johnson's death a justifiable homicide. The law is what it is, but CBS 42's reporter Stefan Dingle talked to one Birmingham activist who's questioning whether the shooter should be charged with something. Stefan? Sherry, this is an open letter sent in by Frank Matthews of the Outcast Voters League. He sent this to the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office asking many questions about this case. Now, among them, why selling a gun to a minor is not a punishable offense. Now, as we've reported, Isaiah Johnson and the shooter connected on social media before he bought the gun. Now, the Texas presented their findings to the Jefferson County DA's office, and due to surrounding circumstances, the homicide was ruled as justifiable, and no, char no charges were were filed, as we just mentioned. Now, activist Frank Matthews, who wrote the open letter to the Jefferson County DEA pro tem Danny Carr, praises the DA's office fight to curb gun violence, but questions the outcome of this particular investigation. Now, we uh, he asked in part there, if there could be charges for attempting to sell guns to a minor. Perhaps warrants could be served and a criminal investigation. He says he don't know. He doesn't know why the law get what the law. He doesn't know what the law gives you the ability to do, but he begs that they do more. Now, again, no charges have been filed in this case. We did reach out to DA Pro Tem uh, Danny Carr, but he was not available. We will follow up on this case to get answers. We're live on the deck tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.